Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwig Collections and today I want to share with you a mini album that I completed. I do have a start to finish on this mini album that I will play here in just a moment for those of you that like to watch the process and the base of my mini album is this chipboard scallop edge recollections kit. I got this from Michael's quite a while ago and as you can see it's scalloped on all four edges and I'll explain um, what I did a little differently. As I made the mini album, I did leave the scalloped on the edge, but at the very end, because I decided to use my cinch binding system to bind it, it did not work well with the scallops. It was cutting half of them off. So I just simply cut the left side straight down and you will not see that on the start to finish because I had to take that over to my large heavy duty trimmer and so I just didn't include that in the footage. So that's the only thing that you won't see on there. For the edges of my chipboard, I used this Waverly chalk ivory paint and I did two coats of it. And I used the most gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. I will be sure to list everything in the description box and over on my blog as well. So check both um, the description box and or my blog for links to Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwit Collections. Knitwit Collections, I used the paper collection called Authentic. It's my favorite collection from them. And that's hard for me to say because I love all of their collections. So this album measures probably about seven and a half by seven and a half. And my papers that I cut are seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. I did spray all of them with clear acrylic Mod Podge spray that you can find at Michaels, Walmart, Amazon. It comes in either matte finish or glossy finish. And on paper, you really can't tell the difference. If you use the spray on a, a jar or a wooden item, you can see a little bit of the glossiness in it, but not on the paper. So on the front here, I use this beautiful Guy Pure Lace. As you can see, I use this pink and white striped paper. I also tucked in another Guy Pure Lace down here on part of it. And then I use some of these small organza trimming here and here. They also sell that in large. That's some of my favorite. I use this flat back pearl in white. Again, all of this is from Wild Orchid Crafts. I use this large gardenia flower in white and then this large open rose. I think this is a 40 millimeter, so it's a very large piece. I used a smaller one here, a I believe 30 millimeter. And then I used some cottage roses in pink mist. Love these. And then some open roses, some white hip rose buds. And then tucked in here, I have some of the beehive blossom flowers. These are so cute to me. Let me give you a little closer. Um, before I do, I, I cut out a bow from my Silhouette Cameo um, from the same paper collection. And this journaling card automatically comes in the paper collection. I popped it up on a few layers of chipboard, so it really has dimension to it. And I finished it off with adding some of these three of these flat back glitter balls from Wild Orchid Crafts. Again, some of my absolute favorite. And then I did add a few of the white Nouveau Crystal Drops. So let me give you a little bit closer view. This album came together very quickly. And like I said, this is probably my favorite collection from Knitwit Collections. So I just did four pages because this this is such thick chipboard. I knew that this would have a tendency to get a little too bulky too quick. For my wire binding, I used the cinch binding system and I used one and a quarter inch wires. On the side here, I used a tonic layering die. I used the scallop rectangle and this is left open so the photo can slip right under this and under this as well. And he, I also have a template for whoever gets this photo. They can use this to cut their photo out. I did end up gluing this entire frame down. That way they could just slip their photo directly under and adhere it down. I use some gorgeous magnolia flowers here and here, some lilies, hip rosebuds, some self-adhesive pearls. And the this 
um, cluster of paper flowers comes from the collection and I doubled it on some white cardstock to make it strong being that I was going to be lifting it off the page slightly. Here I added some of the sweetheart blossoms and some more of those gorgeous pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love mixing both paper flowers and the mulberry flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I just love that. On this side I made an envelope using um, paper that from the collection and I used my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and I did a five bar. So inside it fits four by five and a half cards. I added this beautiful rhinestone buckle with a cabochon flower in the center. Here's a label from the collection and tucked behind this are two tags that come in the collection. Perfect for little photos or journaling on the back. I added an ivory heart from Wild Orchid Crafts and a sweet little bow with a flower with the diamond in the center again from Wild Orchid Crafts. These are some of my favorites. So those tuck nicely behind the envelope and in the envelope it has a magnetic closure. I use the basic gray mag magnets from Amazon. Photos can be placed in here and then I have some beautiful journaling cards again from the same collection perfect for photos and journaling. Those tuck nicely in here. On this page, again, this is a large journaling card that comes in the collection. I sized it large enough so it took up most of the page. I added some of the beautiful um, white pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this piece here comes with a flower cluster like that, but it does not come with this journal stamp. Um, this is a digital stamp that comes in the collection if you buy the bundled collection and I just added that onto this before I printed it out. I used a magnetic closure and it's a little book so it's going to hold lots of photos and I believe it could hold five by five photos. On this side I made a pocket. I added, it's probably a little hard to see, but I did back it with a little white cardstock so that peeks out just slightly to um, give a definition be between the two patterns. I added a border strip that comes in the collection. I just added that on here, printed it out, added this digital stamp that says, you are awesome, don't ever forget that. Some several Nouveau crystal drops throughout. And I added these sweetheart blossoms along with this flower cluster that I did back three different times, two, two layers of white chipboard and then the flowers to make it very strong being that I was going to be putting um, journaling cards behind it. So all of these come in the collection. I just sized them to whatever sizes I wanted. I wanted a real large one and then a few smaller ones. So look how gorgeous this is. Again, pictures can be placed right inside the pocket. Be true, you never know who you are inspiring. Gorgeous. I love their paint chips that come in the collection. All of these have been sprayed with the Mod Podge Clear Click Spray. So those just tuck nicely in here. And my last two pages, I cut this out. This is an envelope from the Cameo. I cut it out and just kind of made my own um, accordion book here. So this has a scallop edge. I added a piece of paper to give it some definition between the two. Use this beautiful Guy Pure lace again from Wild Orchid Crafts. They have tons of laces and trims to choose from. Really, really great prices. And I used a large pearl brad again from Wild Orchid Crafts. I did add a stronger magnetic piece here. And when you open this up, you can just pull it out. You have both sides for photos and journaling. And lastly, I used another Tonic oval um, layer die from Tonic. Added some more magnolia flowers, some open roses in both the pink mist and ivory. Here I added one of the mixed corner resin pieces that Wild Orchid Crafts offers and added a bow with, oh, I got to re-adhere this down, with one of these pearls in a diamond center that Wild Orchid Crafts, they come in lots of different colors. I will re-adhere that down to the center. It's so pretty on there. And then here I have one of the little ivory hearts tucked in. So that is my album. If you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish, please do. I'll play that here now. And check the description box for all the links to these gorgeous products 
And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.